hello beautiful people how are you all doing hope you are doing great you are welcome to joy uzo tv if this is your first time of coming across my video you are very welcome in this video i will be showing you how i made this large not less braided wig on a full lace wig if it sounds like something you are interested in then you definitely need to keep watching For this wig guys, I will be using color 1B and I cut the extension into 2. Guys, I will be dropping some clips of how I made the less wig in this video if you want a much detailed video I'm going to be dropping the link to the video in the description box the full lace cap that I use is a medium size the side with the adjustable strap should be inside then you ventilate outside I will be using this expression attachment color 2 and I cut it into 5 I already started with the ventilation guys I started the ventilation about three to four holes downwards that's where I started the ventilation so it can cover up the strap I will be using the vertical diagonal method if you don't understand what I mean by that you can check my previous video on four ventilating patterns for different use I am ventilating on one hole, skip one hole, ventilating on the next hole. I am also ventilating on one line, skip one line, then ventilate on the next line. And also, I am picking two strands for every hole that I ventilated on. Like I said before guys, if you want the detailed video on how I made the full lace wig, I'm going to leave it in the description box. So let's get right into the braided wig. I'm just going to section the hair. You can get a much larger uh, box. You can do a larger box or a smaller box, depends on what you want.
okay guys this is what it's looking like at the moment you can see that the the roll i want to braid on i just session out the 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 bosses like the sizes that i want then i braid before going to the next row i just added my jam jam gel also so to bring the hair together so it will be easy for me to hold because it's large So guys, after I was done with all the braids, then I started adding cut 3, because I did cut 2 and cut 3, then the cut 3, I just added it to make the hair longer. I just continue to feed in till I get my desired length. I trim out all the flyaways 
I did it one after the other. So all you need to do is tie it, then you bring it out one after the other, then trim it. The next thing I'm going to do is to add this uh, adjustable elastic band. Guys, I prefer to use an adjustable elastic band for my frontal wig. For a closure wig, I use uh, the normal elastic band. But for frontal, I prefer to use the adjustable one. When it's too big, then you can adjust it. When it's too small, you can also do same. The next thing I'm going to do is to put it in hot water. I put every part of the wig in hot water, including the lace part, because I want the, the ventilated air to go into the hot water. It's going to make it come out silky, and it will also make it difficult to cut. I am just adding some baby hairs to the front and I'm using human hair. Guys, this is what the wig is looking like. You can see the length is very, very long. I later added foundation to the lace to make it look natural before installing it. If you found this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Give this video a thumbs up, share and comment. Also like and follow my page. And if you are a returning subscriber, you guys are the boss. Thanks for always stopping by. I do really appreciate you. God bless you. Feel free to check out my other videos and I will see you in my next video. Love you!